Hi there, Zach with Vine Skills here. Uh, this is a quick video demonstration on how easy it is to use third-party softwares to collect and gather your, your advanced case costs, how they can swing to, sync to QuickBooks and ultimately get into FileVine via the QuickBooks Connect integration. So here's a quick demonstration of, of Expensify. Expensify is a, a, an expense management system. You can have credit cards attached to Expensify. You can have a credit card for each one of your attorneys, for example. They can all have a, an Expensify login account, and they can log in, they can categorize all the charges they make on that company card. You can also, if attorneys are using their own personal card, they can log in and create expense reports and upload their receipts um, in a very similar way. So for example here, um, I made this $24 charge on my company card. It's showing up in my expenses section and it's automatically applied to an expense report. So if I go to this tab, I can navigate to the actual report here. We'll pause there for buffering. And we're inside the automatically created expense report for myself. Uh, and you can see that charge is automatically brought in here. You'll also notice in red that this charge and all the charges listed beneath here are currently uncategorized. So if I click into this charge, this would be my responsibility monthly or weekly or whatever, however you want to set it up. If I click into this charge, I can see a number of things. First thing I see is Expensify created a e-receipt for this transaction automatically. This is an option in Expensify. You can have Expensify create these e-receipts for any charge below $75. That threshold comes from the IRS. And so if this is good for, enough for the IRS, it's probably good enough for, for us, but you can also disable that and you can require actual receipts for anything below 75. I uh, would recommend getting a receipt for anything above 75. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing, but we'll move on. The merchant, since I purchased this with my credit card, Expensify already knows a few of these details. It knows, it knows the merchant name, it knows the date, and it locks in that total. Um, so here's where we get to the, the important part. So this category section is red because it's required. So if this was a, for example, like a filing fee or whatever, this is some sort of expense I'm collecting that I'm going to uh, recover through the settlement process. I'm gonna go ahead and categorize that to advanced case costs. And the other important thing I'm gonna do is under the client, I'm gonna make sure I find my, find my client. This is, this is my QuickBooks customer list syncing to Expensify, and this is my QuickBooks general ledger account syncing to Expensify. So when I, find, when I find that client, I know that's the same client in, expense, in QuickBooks, and I know that QuickBooks client is a project in my file line. So hopefully you're following me there. And I can simply say, you know, filing fee or whatever. Um, and I'll, I'll work on spelling it right. And I can click save. Now, there are a couple other ways to get expenses in here. Um, if I didn't use a company card, I purchased something with my own personal card and I want to be reimbursed for it by the firm, and that also is a, is a fee or something that's gonna be collected back in the settlement process, I can add uh, an expense manually uh, up here in the screen button. Um, I can click here to upload a receipt if it's already saved in my computer. If not, I can actually take a picture of my phone of a physical receipt and email it to receipts at expensify.com and it will show up let me back out of this. It will show up here. So I'm gonna pause the video and do that real quick. All right, and we're back. So what I did with my phone is I took a picture of this paper receipt and I emailed it to receipts at expensify.com from my, my work email address that's associated with my Expensify account. And so when Expensify receives that, it's from my account. It, is, it automatically pulls that image into your expenses section here. Um, you can see it, it's smart scanning. It's trying to pick up the date and the amount and all that um, for you. It also automatically applied it to this open expense report I had, which is this one called 2022-12 expenses. So let's navigate back to my report. Um, and you can see here it is uncategorized. So I got to get, get in here and add some details. Um, I'm just going to add them myself. So. No thanks, Expensify next time. So this is maybe not the best example for a legal expense. This is a, you know, a Lowe's receipt. <laughs> um, 
but nonetheless, let's imagine that we're going to recover this amount in the settlement. Um, the date's fine, and then the total of this is actually what four four ninety seven fifty. So I'll put that in there. This is reimbursable because I paid for this out of pocket, and so the firm owes me this money back. So I'm going to be sure to click reimbursable, and then again, I'm taking my advanced case cost general ledger account, and I'm taking my client that this is for. Great, now my report is ready to submit. It's a good idea to check these total. The total report is $522. The reimbursable portion is $497. The non-reimbursable part is $24. That was on my company card. And I can go ahead and click submit. All right, so let's say I just submitted this report. Um, it will you can either route to your accountant for approval or someone in your firm for approval, or it can automatically go to QuickBooks. Uh, we'll say this routed to my accountant. They approved it. It has now synced into QuickBooks. So I'll pause this video and open up QuickBooks and we'll take a look at this. All right, so here we are in our QuickBooks. We just synced that Expensify report from Expensify to QuickBooks. And here's where we can find it. If we navigate to the Expenses tab, there's a couple ways to find it. it it'll be the uh, first couple expenses here. You can see the Lowe's synced in, the Vine Skills purchase synced in. Um, each line item of your line item of your Expensify report is going to sync into QuickBooks as a different expense. That's because it, there's a different vendor. And so in QuickBooks, each expense transaction can only be attached to one vendor. So anyways, here's what it looks like. It automatically assigns it to Lowe's and QuickBooks. Um, and then the key things for the QuickBooks Connect integration is we're hitting advanced case costs here and we're tagging our client. So all is well and good with that one. And similar to that, our other purchase that we made with the company card is also in here, tagged to advanced case, advanced case costs and tagged to our client. So further, we can navigate to our custom reports, advanced case cost by client. Take a look at James Bond's case costs here. There's quite a few, um, but the most recent ones down here, sure enough, here's our Expensify transactions, sinking right into that advanced case cost total for this client. Now we can double check in FileVine. So I, I find this project in FileVine, James Bond. I navigated to the settlement section here and the QuickBooks case cost section. I do need to refresh this quick. So I will let this, I will let this load. Sync successful, great. And then I'm just gonna refresh my file line. And here we go, QuickBooks case cost 10.87145, 10.87145. Our numbers agree, and if I want, I can pull the detailed transaction. Here's the detailed transaction behind it. And sure enough, our two charges from Expensify show up most recent right down here. So that's kind of a, a rough walkthrough of how that works. Really with the QuickBooks Connect integration, you can use any sort of third party system that's syncing into QuickBooks. As long as you're able to tag, um, you're able to sync with your QuickBooks general ledger accounts, meaning you can tag advanced case costs in that system. And also you can sync with your QuickBooks client list, meaning you can tag your client or FileVine project in that system. So it works well with Expensify, almost any other expense management software it'll work with. You just want to double check that you can sync your QuickBooks client list. Not all of them will do that, but most of them will. There's even some that are free if you sign up for their credit card. Uh, Bill.com works really well. If you're, if you're doing a lot of, if you're managing your accounts payable through a different system, that can work well also. So it's pretty, pretty effortless, pretty cool. And uh, it's a good way to ensure completeness of all these case costs, getting into your file line and ultimately falling into that settlement process. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, happy counting.